we know what is a machine language machine language is the combination of binary numbers that means zeros and ones in a combination are machine language and the so here the number of bits that form the word of a microprocessor is fixed for that particular processor that means uh, microprocessor so we know that 8085 is a is a 8 bit microprocessor so the word length for this processor word length for this 8085 micro microprocessor is 8 bit okay 8 bits so we know our first microprocessor that is 4004 which is a 4 bit microprocessor so what will be the word length of 4004 yeah it is 4 bits okay and we will learn the 8086 microprocessor which is a 16 bit microprocessor that's why the word length for this 8086 microprocessor is 16 bits okay so the number of bits that form the word of a microprocessor is fixed for that particular microprocessor then these bits define a maximum number of combinations that we have already discussed that means in our 8085 microprocessor we have 2 raised to 8 combinations that is 256 combinations so first combination is yeah, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 this is our first combination and next combination is what 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 one this is second combination and so on what will be the last combination yeah complete bits one 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 this is our last combination so this is uh, uh, decimal equivalent zero this is decimal equivalent 255 okay so ethereum combinations are two zero uh sorry eight zero eight five microprocessor not the Okay, these are the different combinations. Uh, in these e combinations, we are using them. Uh, let's check. In most microprocessor, not all of these combinations used are used. Okay, because certain patterns are chosen and assigned specific meanings. And each of these patterns formed an instruction for the microprocessor. And the complete set of patterns make up the microprocessor's machine language uh, we'll go uh, deep part nam ko no da no ka so in 8085 uh, microprocessor which is from intel which is an 8 bit microprocessor so here nam la tottu nerthe parnu 256 combinations aanu adile here the 8085 uses a total of 246 bit patterns to form its instruction set. Instruction set no mandated 246 are using 246 bit patterns instructions no mandated using 246 instructions and no. no. Here these 246 patterns represent only 74 instructions. Then uh in any Yes, the reason is here. The reason for the, the difference is that some instructions have multiple different formats that means suppose uh, move in the varayna instruction move a a in the varayna instruction that means a is our this a is our source and destination a illa data a like inna move a varayna instruction adinde op code varunadu yeah, here i use the term op code op code varunadu 0 1 1 1 1 1 1, one. Okay, uh, which is equivalent to 7FH, hexadecimal equivalent. Okay, uh, I know, I think that you can uh, understand how we convert it is. It 8421 code, you see, these four bits in it. So, this is yeah, 4 plus 2 plus 1, 7, and this is F. Okay, 7FH. Okay, uh, next instruction is move AB. That means B register data accumulate like a move here. So here use another opcode that is 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0. Okay. 
that is 7 8 h so move in the uh, and example number no key they will move a sick where another where of code on and that means move a c of code is 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 that is 79 h okay uh, so 7 again you total I'm kissing instructions and a number represent in the uh, move ball then I'm add in uh, store accumulator and add in different instructions and store accumulator and and uh, I'm gonna different instructions so you can see and they pull it hexadecimal value in your present the other 30 h2 30 h2 39 h variable values um, 0 to 9 variable values near the present day and 41 h dot 5 a h variable uh, alphabets a to z z very on a represent in the okay and next comes because it is very difficult to enter the bit patterns correctly uh, they are usually entered in hexadecimal instead of binary okay a three binary number sort of a can or another it is difficult so binary or can they call easy num can the or can I can hexadecimal or can I can but other me see no no uh, then uh, we comes to assembly language so here for example the combination this is the combination which translate into increment the number in the register called increment accumulator uh, we will discuss it further more uh, so your number na your binary number ortho ekke anu parayna buddhimuttaanu so idinte hexadecimal namukku engena kandu pidikkam 2 plus 1 3 and um, 8 4 2 1 8 plus 4 12 12 is 3 c okay so when comparing this binary number it is more easy to uh, remember this 3 c but program erudumbo namukku vendum adu buddhimuttaanu so we will come into assembly language okay entering the entering the instructions uh, using hexadecimal is quite easier than entering the binary combination however it is still difficult to understand what a program written in hexadecimal code so each company that means it was supposed to be 0.85 is from intel and uh, motorola uh, uh, motorola they were like microprocessors and then uh, each company defines a symbolic code for the instructions so these symbolic codes are called mnemonics okay the mnemonic for each instruction is usually a group of letters that suggest the operation performed discuss a do move a a is a mnemonic move a b is a mnemonic move a c is another mnemonic okay so uh, so this is the binary number when we convert it into hexadecimal that is 3c which is opcode okay and what it is what it's mnemonic its mnemonic is increment the accumulator in the area so inr a so when comparing with this binary and hexadecimal it is more easy uh, to write a code so inr stands for increment register and a is short for accumulator we know that we have already covered this in detail another example is also given here so how it can be converted 8421 so 8 in the position value so 80 in hexadecimal its mnemonic is what add b here simply add b in the varnu kaniyal endana accumulator le content to add add we will further discuss it in more detail okay then add register b to the accumulator and keep the result in the accumulator okay now assembly language it is important to remember that a machine language and its associated assembly language are completely machine independent so sorry machine dependent your assembly language machine language and its associated assembly language 
completely machine dependent on it. That means it's it cannot be transferred. They are not transferable from one microprocessor to a different one. Here is for example, uh, Motorola has an 8-bit microprocessor called Motorola 8-bit microprocessor in the world 6800. Intel 8085 8-bit microprocessor. So the 8085 machine language is very different from that of the 6800. So it's the assembly language. A program written for the 8085 cannot be executed on where the 6800 Motorola processor. Okay, and vice versa. Now, assembling the program. How does assembly language get translated into machine language? There are two ways. First is hand assembly. Hand assembly in the Varimbo programmer and the programmer translates each assembly language instruction into its equivalent hexadecimal code. Okay. Then hexadecimal code into memory. This is the hand assembly. And another method is commonly used. The other possibility is a program called assembler, which what which does the translation automatically. We have already discussed it in the earlier video. 